Hello folks, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, I'm Absurdities, and I haven't really received any feedback, I don't think many people have, have seen the video in the first place, or past episode. Um, so just, you know, resuming recording 24 hours later, uh, I think I just gotta make my own decision, and I'm, I'm gonna give him the land. I can't deal with this war right now, and I feel like we will be able to... Uh, get back at them uh, after we recover from all the incessant warring that we've been doing. We're going to go critical stress, or are we? Let's see. Can I do anything? I can, shun I can talk to a confidant to get rid of a little stress. Mm-hmm. So we lose 25 stress there. We're still going to gain a whole bunch. Uh, we can work off some stress. Let's go. Um, we're going to get the sweaty stench. What a foot race. We're how old? <laughs> 75 years old. We're going to go. We're going to have a foot race. Uh, how about a sparring match? Uh, he wins it, but that's OK. We don't care. We just we just wanted to lose stress. And, um, yeah, that's going to help for sure. Yeah. Uh, so we're not going to be critical anymore, at least. Yeah, let's, let's give it to them. We lose that war. We lose out on Landers. He now becomes... Oh, is he just our vassal now? What? <laughs> I didn't expect that. I thought he would get it as his own. But, uh, hey, okay. He's very powerful. Do you have any children that can marry? You're married or betrothed. You're married. You're not. Arrange marriage with, um, one of, uh, one of my family members, I guess. My great-granddaughter. Would... Would that work matrilineally? No. No, it wouldn't work at all. Gosh, that's too bad. So I was gonna be like, yeah, bring all your troops over and help in this fight now that you're my... No, that's not happening. Jarl of Flanders. Alright, well, hopefully he just doesn't decide to try and war with us again. Uh, we need to do something about this. We have 232 gold. Um, can I move this over here and then hire some troops there? Oh, how many... How many armies are we... I don't know how many. However many we have, though, let's take it. Oh, no, everything's too expensive right now. Okay, fair enough. Ah, uh, it was it was a fair amount of troops actually that were sitting around. So we're gonna merge that army. We're going to Yes, my grandson and vassal. You're a defender, and we're gonna come around the corner and do that. Oh, uh one of my agents has acquired a viper and arranged for a servant to hide it in Simon's bed before dark. All they need is my go-ahead, and he will be as good as dead the moment the snake strikes. 95% chance of a success, 95% secrecy secrecy. Do it. Oh my gosh. He survived the viper's bite. Although the snake attacked, a physician was quickly called and managed to stop the venom from spreading. Placement of a viper in the unlanded's bed is hardly inconspicuous, but at least no one knows I was behind it. Your luck will only stretch so far. And um, yeah, we're going to try it again, even though he's watchful. Okay. Yes. Yes. Piecemeal. That's how I like to defeat them. Uh, let's see. A snake at court. I'm headed for my chambers. Oh, yes. Okay. So Bertha and who is this? My granddaughter and Mayor Fabrice. What did you just call my granddaughter? Yes. Be angry. Oh, that worked out really well. And we killed the Jarl of Flanders. <laughs> Oh, that's so amazing. Oh my gosh. 
he was there for some reason. He was part of that war, I guess. Maybe he maybe he joined it. But um he just died. <laughs> so all of his uh all of his troops, the Northmen troops are gone and he only has 1700 left. So we can push him around if we want at this point. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Let's um what are we doing here? We're 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 trying to finish who? Aquitaine? Yeah. So let's go siege down something down here. A mighty pen. Picking up the padded swords for a sparring match with my son Marcus, I notice a tattered journal on a sideboard. From the cover, it seems to contain exercises and best practices pertaining to the martial arts. Marcus glances in my direction. Oh, that thing. I mostly read it for the illustrations. You can borrow it. Intriguing. Uh, we increase our marshal by one. That's super useful at 75 years old, but you never know. 16 marshal. Reflecting on God. As I'm sitting and meditating on the finer points of Catholicism, I cannot help but think back to when I traveled to Canterbury for my very first pilgrimage. This trip was far from the quotidian comforts of my life as a king, but the relief I felt upon arriving at Canterbury made it all worth the trouble. I believe I will feel forever closer to God. Sure, fair enough. Lose some stress, gain 50 piety. We have not been the most pious character by far. But, you know, we're doing all right. Okay. Maybe, maybe we can catch them. Is there any quick boys here? Quick, 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 quick. Not really. All right, fair enough. Don't bother changing out. My ward Abraham has come of age and he is Midas touched. Very cool. My grandson. He's 19 stewardship. Not bad at all, man. We're gonna, we're gonna try and catch some more of these guys. Uh, I don't think it's gonna happen, though. Um. Yeah, we'll just go siege him down. New perk. Let's see. Prepared for anything. Enemy hostile success chance minus 25 percent. Enemy hostile scheme, scheme success against my courtiers, minus 10. That sounds good. Go for that. And, um, wow, strong fort. Very strong fort. All right, we have a military engineer on it, at least. Secret exposed. My vassal Count Philip has brought forward evidence that Etzo was fathered by none other than him. Oh, no. I don't care. <laughs> Although, maybe we should look at prisoners for a second. Just try and ransom as many as we can. Have a look at intrigue. We can't blackmail anyone. Fair enough. Uh, with certainty, I took Baudouin out playing with a bow. And to my surprise, he ran into a wounded doe. He did not hesitate in the slightest to bring it down. Greatness awaits you. He's ambitious. Or sadistic or paranoid. Well, you know, we got to make him sadistic. That's just, that's our personality. Uh, we must stop the villain behind someone trying to kill absurdities. Yeah, we, we definitely do. He's, he's all right. It's pretty good. Count Piara's friendship. While his numerous attempts to curry my favor have not gone unnoticed, I cannot feel but irritated by Count Pierre's sudden interest in me. From the vassal in the Duchy of Gascon. I cannot shake the feeling that the man's intentions are not pure. Uh. Never want to see his face again. No, just leave me in peace. What is this? A hunt? Betrothed can marry. Go ahead. Girls can marry. Go ahead. Uh, guardians can be assigned for Marcus. You're 14. You're studying stewardship. Oh, no. That was the wrong one. Uh, we'll educate him for the rest. Wait, who? Marcus. 
Marcus, there we go. And can we make him influence his personality to be diligent? No, not likely. Ambitious might happen. 44%, we'll try. And he's ambitious. Good for you, boy. Schemer discovered. Alain is plotting against absurdities. Well, Alain, we can imprison you. 93% chance of it happening. Done. Alain, my prisoner and grandson. Is that right? He's my grandson? Oh, well, I guess I'm not going to kill him because I was going to. Um, we can get a hook, though. We could banish him. No, gain a hook. And you will become my edu executioner. Yeah, I, that's what I'll do instead. He'll just become my executioner. Because he wouldn't accept the hook. He'd rather stay in jail. Silly boy. Alright, once we have this siege down... Cask of wine, yes. Kill Simon. Simon is dead. Good. Uh, we're about to finish this, and then we'll go smack them again. Here we go. Oh, I seized an ancient plaque. Prestige, plus a tiny bit. Hello? Go. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Look at all this. We can imprison Eleanor for being a fornicator. We can modify the contracts of... Oh, I can pardon her. No, 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 no. Uh, Prince of Fashion. High taxation on you. Great grandson. High taxation. Oh, I didn't use the hook. Okay. Uh, prisoners can be ransomed. Sure. Can we just do that in a batch? No. You can only do one at a time, though. Emmanuel, are you any good? Yeah, you're pretty good. Recruit. Demand conversion. Gain weak hook. No, he doesn't have any money. I don't care about the hook. Blanche. You're kind of terrible. You're a giant. Whatever, we'll recruit you. And your, your husband. Okay. And we can ransom you for 10 bucks now. We can exchange hostage, hostages. I don't want to do that. Titles can be created. So many duchies. Uh, we can appoint a worthy successor. Okay, Adelbert. Sounds good. Dynasty members can be invited. So many. Will not accept. Will not accept. Yeah, you'll come. You won't. You definitely won't. And you will. Dynasty members can get married. 14 of them. Uh, I will pause and deal with these. Okay, all the children's marriages have been dealt with. There was an awful lot of great-grandchild with great-grandchild marriages, uh... Put together so we'll see what that does to our bloodline in a little while our court tutor just died that's inconvenience um how's about someone else yes analytic villain you're a genius so yeah i feel like that's probably gonna do fine or no i think i think we'll do that no or food taster my son <laughs> it'd be my food taster maybe we don't need one right now how about or abraham sure you go ahead master of the horse yeah we we're not paying any of these people so we should um my acclaimed knight it's also an acclaimed knight prince jacques could be sure royal architect Excellent. Go ahead. High Almoner. 
Good. Good. You you like us more. We'll go with you. Court Jester. Yeah, we we could do someone. How about you? Just a courtier. Seneschal. Yes, we want a Seneschal. Um. Yeah, you're diligent. We'll go with you. Cupbearer, bodyguard, court musician. Sure. Wow, there's so many positions. Court artificer, we don't have anyone available. Cupbearer, my daughter. Sure. 49 year old daughter. Alright, they are trying to run away, but we got them. And we have a great granddaughter that'll have to marry off as well. Yes! We've crushed them again. Mercenary contract expiring soon. That's fine. We don't really need them, though. Can pardon criminals. Can imprison criminals. Alright, um... How we best gonna finish this war? Probably by sieging down another province. So let's go over here to Lover Shell. Maybe unseaging some of the stuff we have, too. We'll do it at the same time. Lawrence's first resentment. As I discuss some court affairs with my son Lawrence, he abruptly starts discussing his childhood. Oh, he's 18. Okay. He looked, a, he looked a lot older than 18 with that beard. My beloved father, you must admit it. You never cared for me, not even when I was young. My dressing up was ruthlessly ridiculed. Is that love? Lawrence struggles, shaking with emotion, but seems resolute. Give me your land, father. I'm willing to prove remorse. I can give him the County of Provence. Uh, from now on, you'll have what you need from me. He gets a strong hook. Or I could just say grow up, and he gets closer to a rivalry. Yeah, grow up. You're 18, for Christ's sake. Mind you, I'm 42, and I don't consider myself grown up, so whatever. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll transfer that person. We'll keep the duchies together. Adamar de Tom, my grandson, can marry. Okay. Um, how's about someone with inheritable traits? And what is this? Claims to the following titles. Or how about this Amazonian woman? Oh yeah, because he's actually Herculean. That sounds like a match made in Amazonia. I don't know. It's fine. Get married. Children need education focus. I should have done this while I was paused. Uh, you are rowdy. You're going to go for intrigue. Bertha, you are charming. I'm going to put you on intrigue as well, actually. Godfroy. Um, what is it? Diplomacy or learning? Diplomacy. Not nah, learning, actually. Loop. You can go learning. Aubrey. Uh, stewardship. Charles. Stewardship. My great granddaughter, Beatrix. Uh, learning or diplomacy. Yeah, diplomacy. And then. Herbert. Uh, intrigue. Alright. I took care of that. Excellent. Um, we don't have enough troops to siege that down anyways, so... Fine, I'm just gonna split in half. We'll take one of these groups and we'll try and get our own land back. Smallpox? Oh no. Oh no. Idlegard, my great-granddaughter, has got smallpox. Isolate her. A secret exposed! Anatolios, the knight of my son, Prince Pierre, has accused my daughter, Elodie, of having had an extramarital affair with her soulmate, Count Rimbaud. How could she defile the sanctity of her marriage? God will judge these sinners. Sorry, fair enough. Uh, yeah, scandal. Blah, blah, blah. They know. Now everyone knows. Yeah, smallpox. Oh, Pancrazio got... Uh, he's our Archbishop and High Almoner. 
Uh, Ivanka got smallpox. Uh, arrived to pay homage. Sure, yeah. Give us, give us your money. Accept your gifts. All right, we're at Grandeur Six. Um, can we upgrade anything here? We can upgrade the blacksmith. Sounds good. Upgrades the militia camps. I don't own that. <clears throat> Do we have uh, Ile de France? No, Prince Carloman does. Rethel is ours. Let's make something else here. Here, cattle pastures. Sounds good. We can construct a new holding, only we can't. Why? Temple. We need a temple. But we don't have city planning. Okay. Pretty sure we've made them before, but I guess not. Why am I holding Rethel? It's it's like an empty... It's got two counties that are empty. I should really just give it away. And hold on to something a little more valuable. County of Rethel. How much money do I get out of this place? Well, 2.2 tax, 2.82. Let's compare that to Absurdlia, which is 4. It's not bad. It's Claremont to... I guess it's fine. I mean, it'd be nice... It'd be nice to uh, take Ile de France back from little Prince Carloman. He is my vassal. Can't revoke because I have a truce. Oh, that would be tyranny. So I think I already did one tyrannical one of those. Oh, uh, available dynasty. Yes. Just in time. Chance of inheriting bad congenital traits minus 30%. Chance of new bad congenital traits minus 30. So that is good. Uh, we'll take that. And that's probably where I'll stop with that line and we'll we'll switch into something else. But that makes it that the uh, the great grandchildren, the inbreeding that's happening there, much less likely to to result in very, very bad things. I would hope. Tidbits from far away. Visiting the local market, a merchant from a faraway land catches my attention. Come closer, my lord. Marvel at treasures never before seen in these lands. Had to watch my back to get these beauties out. I did, never sleeping with both eyes closed. Yeah. Uh, this merchant might have more to give than marbles from... Mar marbles. Marvels from afar. Uh, it must be interesting traveling such as you do. You get intrigue XP. He will tell me what he knows. We gain dread. We get more vigilant, vigilant for three years. And some XP. And we get threatened merchant. Profit opinion goes down. Uh, this should cover both the trinket and the information. We lose 300 gold. And yeah, we we are much more likely to go for like he will tell me. He will tell me. So that's what we do. Small prox, small pox. Inspired person can be sponsored. This sounds good. How do, how do I how do I do that again? Uh, inspirations, yes. Recruit to court, for one. And sponsor inspiration. 98 to make mail. We'll sponsor that. For sure. And is there anything else we can do? He really doesn't like us. I don't know why. Uh, is this the guy I tried to demand conversion from? No. No, probably something to do with it, though. Also, murder holes and priest holes... A pallid individual who looks as if she spent her entire life skulking underground is lurking in the corner of my throne room. I've heard you tell you might want a sacred passage installed. I can craft any impure corridor your twisted heart desires. I can even add an oubliette to your bedroom for your lover to throw you into in the heat of passion. Uh, I shall enter and leave rooms only from the front door, wench. Or, a series of spying holes where my courtiers gather, please. 300 bucks, we get spying holes, and we get 10 grandeur. 
Scheme discovery chance plus 5%. I am a simple man. Uh, hidden escape passage will do. Which will give us uh, enemy hostile scheme success chance minus 15. Or I admit I would like to be thrown into an oobalette stark naked. We gain deviance. We gain a secret deviance. Alluring confidence. No, I'm, I'm, that's not us. I mean, we're sadistic, but we're not that. Um, spying holes. I think I'm going to go with spying holes. Let's do that. Poor grandeur. Still climbing. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to do well. And artifacts. I don't think we have anything new anyways. Not to say we couldn't buy some, although we did just spend 300 bucks, so we don't have that money. Uh, court grandeur increased to seven. Ancrazio brought my ward Esclarmond to the market today. Esclarmond was to hand out alms to the poor and the needy to learn about charity and rulish plight to the less fortunate. We've read this many times. Uh, you can get generous, fickle, or arrogance. Generous it is. And someone's trying to plot Gwen, plot against Gwen Frui. Inspiration, a vassal to remember. Prince Carloman and Duke Jihondo are among the most powerful vassals in my realm. I never know how to keep them happy, so they don't go around stirring up trouble. Perhaps flattery is the way to go. Anyone would be pleased to have something made in their name, wouldn't they? And I have just the right thing in the making. I could let my beneficiary, Aristakes, know that absurdities is so much better than that. Anyways. Knows that I am dedicating his masterpiece to my trustworthy vassals and advisors. Then again, it is my artifact, so maybe I should just... I don't know. Um, you really don't like me. You do. To myself, gain prestige. Or dedications are overrated anyway. Yeah, let's gain some... No, nah, let's, let's go ahead and dedicate it. Who cares? Get some stuff. Uh, Count Philip. Count Philip is going against Grenfui. Stop the villain behind this. Murder Isabel Macajis. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Who's Isabel? Uh, princess. Princess of fashion. We'll, we'll get to that. And Amaneus against... Oh, Gwenfrui is plotting against Amaneus. It's just like webs on webs. Yes, get married. Hold court. I guess we could do that. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall. A stream of people file in, some lining up in front of my throne, while others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceedings. After several moments, all movement in the chamber has ceased. All faces turned towards me expectantly. In front of me, I count three petitioners lined up in an orderly row, waiting for me to call on them. Gesture for the first in line to approach. I am faced with Hughes's sad eyes, which grow larger and more pitiful as his mother, Raymond, gently ushers him towards my throne. King, she laments, the boy has been at Julian's court with no one to watch over him since the disappearance of his dear papa. Please look to his future. What can be done with such a child? Uh, we can make him Drogo's ward. Or he can be a mac and cheese. I will be considered his father, becomes my ward, becomes a member of House Mac and Cheese. Um, gains adopted commoner. Okay. I don't know why that would be so bad, but um, wait, where's, where's the child here? Oh, you see, I was hoping you had the hail trait that your mom had. Nah, I think uh, Drogo can look after you. Um, my vassal, Jarl Alfer, fist, in, uh, fist his hands in his shirt before stepping forward to voice his petition. My liege, I seek your aid in combating the issue of bandits harassing the modest people of Vlil. He pauses the sigh. I cannot fix the problems with the resources I have. I ask for any aid that you can spare. Um, you're the Asatru Norse guy, and you're complaining about bandits. Your people were literally raiders. Our raiders. Because he can still raid. My steward can offer you advice. Yeah, that's fine. My great-granddaughter 
Burgoyne comes uh, comes to me asking me to annul her betrothal to my grandson Charles. <laughs> he's a bad batch. He's always so foolhardy and he's unpleasant to boot. Please free me from this obligation, my lord. You're 12. Get over it. Uh, he is he is bad. But so are we. An agreement is an agreement. Or then you'll never marry and she becomes a monk. Uh, no, agreement is an agreement. I set up that match myself, so you're barking up the wrong tree there, lady. We gained six grandeur. Our business is done. That was that was easy as far as court days go. And what is happening here? Are they going to attack me? They might. Uh, the stolen keg. I caught these two hiding in the pantry. A very irate cook shouts at me, dragging my grandson Nicholas and Martha in tow. You should watch your how you who you shout at there, cook. We are sadistic after all. Martha had stolen a whole keg of mead. Nicholas tried to put it back by himself before I noticed, but no such luck for him, he says angrily. It seems as if my ward is a little troublemaker, but one that had had a change of heart. Okay. That's very diligent of you. Yes, be diligent. Inspiration ended? Oh, he died. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, we don't get inspirations that often, so that's a little upsetting. Let's commission an artifact anyways. Um, yes. What do we what do we want? How about a book? Yes. Hire a local artisan. Let's do that. And this guy? That's cool. He's Manichean and Uyghur. Uh, I don't I don't know how to say that. It's, uh, they've got a rough uh, situation, them, yeah, right now in China. But, uh, anyways. Ah, uh, yes, they are attacking. But they just managed to get themselves. Oh, my grandson died. Oh, no. A motto for the ages. I can hear my beneficiary, Zheji. Muttering to himself from across the hall, I need something great, something epic to make my creation stand out of from the uninspired masses. But what? Just what? When his spirited eyes meet mine, he breaks into a huge smile and waves to me. My lord, what an amazing idea. Just perfect. What do you think of adding your family's motto to the commission? Yes, that sounds great. Give us a hundred renown all day long. Okay. Now we're just about done these sieges. There we go. We've sieged that down. I'm going to send them to meet up there, and then we'll go smash them again. Uh, he approaches me with his arms full of scrolls and manuscripts. My lord, there's so many areas of diplomacy that are worthy of attention. Courtly conduct, relationships, poetry. I don't even know where to start. What does your muse learn yearn for? Yes, you decide. Okay. Bring these together. Get the siege commander on there. There we go, we've sieged that down. Now let's go smash. Schemer discovered. Oh, you're planning against my daughter. Poor musician. Stop it. Yes, yes, go get them. Marcus comes of age. With his coming of age, my tuition of Marcus is at an end. A natural administrator from birth, it should be no surprise no one it should surprise no one that Marcus has come far in his studies of the management of the realm. Not content with understanding the flow of wealth and people, he seemed capable of predicting it as if by instinct. He always finds a new way of profiting off it, too. He is Midas touched. Excellent. Got 22 stewardship. What's what's our council looking like? We got 20. Count Louis. Louise. Wow, we could have this guy with 26 stewardship? Or we could just put our son in there with 22. No, I think 26 is is enough of a change. 32, 29, my spy master, still not the best. Oh, we have Princess Itagard with 34. But she will murder us. She's minus 79. Uh I think I think we'll switch up for a different princess, though. Just because it is an advantage. Wow, our wife can really help us with a lot of things, a lot. Um, I think w the, the all-around is fine. 
And let's smash these guys. Inspiration, Fickle Philip. I bump into a very grave looking JG, my writer, hoping that he doesn't bring ill news of the splendid book he should soon have ready for me. Oh, there you are, my liege. I have hit a while in my work. Nothing major. My ideas have gone to ground as the pressure mounts, he laughs nervously. I just need some inspiration, mighty king. Might you have some prior examples, I can imagine? Ah, I have just the tonic. Um. I mean, 2% chance he dies, or I know what you need. 40% uh, chance of negatives, 16% chance of negatives, or to the library. We don't have anything in our... Uh, I'm curious about this. Let's try the library. There must be some junk lying around. Oh, this is horrible. What a waste of time. And smallpox is gone. Good. Okay, we're smashing these guys. Moosh. And we are going to unsiege this stuff. Are we not? God, stop with the schemes. Whatye? Let's go siege that down. We're almost done. I think if we break this siege, we should be okay. God, what terrible. How are these forts so... so good? Prisoners. No one can be ransomed. That's annoying. Uh, you could be useful, but maybe not. You're definitely useful. Let's recruit you. Doesn't have any money, so we don't care about the hook. And you don't have any money. You're very deceitful. You're very deceitful, but also temperate. I mean, he's 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 good. He's also very good. I'm gonna recruit you, and you, sir, are gonna die. <laughs> there we go. What you get for fighting against us, man? Gotta set an example now, now and then. Oh, this is going to take ages, isn't it? Siege progress. One quarter of the way done. Far from home. A stranger is brought before me. He's been waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my liege. My guard informed me. The man bows deeply. My name is Adrianos, your highness. I have traveled far and wide, seen many things, but I'm weary of the road. If you allow me to stay, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal servant. Uh, he is wheezing. He's a little bit of a traveler. He's a poet, naive appeaser. He's, he's not super good. Well, his stats are good. I can say the more the merrier. Embrace God, and this will be your home. I kind of like I kind of like him because he's a poet, and we're a poet. So yeah, embrace God. And um, do you have any money? No. We could send him a poem. I think it's fine. Can we send the owner of this a poem? The Duchess. That's who we're fighting against, right? Send poem. A work dealing with their incompetence. She lost some opinion of us. Uh, betrothed Mary. Go ahead. Excellent. Go ahead. Excellent. Grand Tour, blah, 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 victory, victory, and so many things to look at here. You can be converted. He will accept. You can be converted. Uh, will accept. Might accept 100%. Um, can demand payments from family members. Hippolyta can marry. This is our court jester. Matrilineal marriage with... Someone. My great grandson. Twenty-three. Oh yeah, we're uh, on heritable traits only. I'd like you to marry a courtier. My courtier. Sure, we'll make it matrilineal just for funsies. Um, you can be landed. Who are, who are you? My great grandson. 
barony and county and duchy of Orleans? No. Let's make him a baron. Sure, go ahead. Okay, anyways. Ah, oh, he's converted. Good. They converted... My son-in-law Hartwig died. That means Player X. Player X is still kicking. Good for her. 56. Let's find her a spouse. Uh, yeah, my courtier, the guy from the the guy from China. Sure, why not? Have fun. Enjoy the younger man, I guess. Where are you going to see? My grandson Baudouin has been asking me for a wooden warrior for a long time, and I told him I would get him one in three months if he displayed more focus in his studies. Uh, ever since I made the promise, he's been redoubling the effort of his studies. Trusting, content, or fickle. Content is probably the better one. Yeah, one is intrigue. Sure. There you go. And uh, I think we're going to pause there. Uh, this war is dragging on, but we're almost done. I'll be happy when it is done. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll keep the Norse Asatru people around. Well, they're, they're Catholic now. We, we made them convert, but who knows? Um... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I, I need that number to tick up as fast as humanly possible. So it's, you know, free and easy. And uh, I you'd be really be helping us out. All right. That's it for now. Stay safe. Take care. Bye for now.